Welcome to part three of module three. In this part, we will work on the finer details such as quick mail and other key skills to have while teaching a course. The previous videos probably had you asking yourself, hey, where's the grade book? Well, the grade book is easy to locate. If you go to the left column and click grades, you'll be taken to the grade book. In the grade book, you'll find all the students along with all their scores across every single assignment, quiz, written assignment, whatever. It's all in there. You may be asking yourself, hey, how do I submit my final grades after everything is graded and done? Well, after week six, after everything is graded and after everything's been turned in and processed and etc. Okay, I can't emphasize that enough. Go to the right hand column and click submit grades in the grade submission block. Once you click that link, something like the grade book will appear. All you have to do is click the menu at the very top and select final grade. And it will automatically populate all the final grades into the grade book. Afterwards, just click submit grades and that will send the grades off to the registrar to be recorded. The quick mail tool is an important tool in the course room. It allows you to send email to anybody. You don't have to know their email address, contact information or anything. As long as you know their name, you'll be able to send them an email. To begin, look for the quick mail block in the right hand column. And then when you're ready to send the email, click compose new email. Clicking this link will take you to a new screen that looks something like this. You'll see multiple columns, with possible recipients and potential groups and so forth. In this example, we're going to send an email to Laura Yardley, as you see right here. So we click their name and then click add. After clicking add, you will see their name appear in the selected recipient group. Beneath the intended recipients on the previous slide, you will see a field for other recipients. If you wish to add other people onto this email that are not listed in the list, you can add them here. For example, if you wanted to email a student advisor and include them like a CC, you can put them in here. You may add in any attachments you see fit for the email. Just drop your files right there. And most importantly, make sure you send your email with a subject. Beneath the subject line, you will find the message area. Put your message there. Also, if you use Grammarly, you can click the little tiny green circular arrow in the bottom right of the message area to proofread your message. After you're done with your message, click send. And once you click send, the email will be sent off with attachments and all that to the selective recipients and any other additional recipients. The last topic for module three are outcomes assessments. We measure two types of outcomes at this university. We measure course learning objectives, also known as CLOs, and they measure performance relative to desired outcomes stated in a course. For example, you know these as the outcomes on a syllabus. Also, we measure institutional learning objectives, or ILOs, and these are value-based statements of student achievements and usually they measure performance or achievement relative to the desired outcome for a particular program. Also, you may know a little bit about this already in that course learning objectives can be measured within a course. However, institutional learning objectives require multiple measurements to indicate or track the evolution or development of a student. Both these things will appear in courses and if you wanna learn on how to grade them, you can find this video in the Faculty Resource Center, also known as the FRC. This video will show you how to grade or rank CLOs and ILOs. I wish to thank you for attending this module. If you have any questions, ask. Also, make sure you work on the activities and get everything you need to know out of this module. Good luck.